It's only about 8 o'clock in the morning. Sun is really up hot. You can see me actually sweating already. It's a sultry morning. It's going to be touching 40 degrees centigrade today in Pune. Well, I'm working with the Motorola. Well, this is an interesting phone. I'm using it for the first time. Well, let me try and shoot some landscapes with it this time. Using, you know, things of interest in the foreground and also capturing a nice wide landscape. I'll try both the portrait and the landscape mode. I've got the grid activated, lens cleaned, and I'm ready to shoot. Now I found this interesting small place of worship near this, you know, a pool of water and this rocky formation. And there is a hill in the backdrop. And there is also a couple of people sitting in the backdrop. Let me see how I can put all these three elements together and shoot a nice landscape. Well, as you can see, I have activated the grid, the 3x3 grid, and I'm using the horizon leveler to get my levels right. I'm going to keep the, the puja area here at the rule of third. And okay. I wish uh, there were some clouds in the sky that would have definitely improved the look. Let me try the next one slightly moving to the left, I take the next picture. And let me try and take this picture with a real wide angle lens. So it'll give you more force. Um, oh, this is nice. Okay. This is a foreground background kind of a shot. This is another interesting one. Uh, it's a banyan tree. Well, let me try and compose that hill with this in the foreground. So, well, let's try the macro shot also. This phone has a nice macro uh, lens. Light is falling on these leaves in a nice angle. It is revealing a lot of texture. So, let me try and do some close-up shots, macro shots. This can be a nice silhouette shot because I'm shooting against the sun. So, let me bring the... This one is a non-HDR shot without any AI in the frame. So this again is a nice formation. Here, I'm going to avoid the horizon completely. I'm going to use the control that I have to fine tune the exposure and create a, I think when converted into black and white, this will create a nice image. Now, when you shoot things like this, there are no rules. You need to use all your experiences and try and compose an interesting image. Well, when you have no rules, then you start calling it art. Sorry, no offense, just, just like that. When you are shooting in places like this, especially if the place is not really known to you, strictly observe the instructions given you know, like for example, this place is not really safe. Uh, so you need to watch your steps. It's put out by authorities or even local people. So first instruction will be strictly follow such instructions. Don't be too adventurous because you want to get one shot right. I have the sun reflecting there and I'm going to use the extra wide angle uh, because it's got a nice shape. So make use of that shape and avoid the horizon completely. Um, of course, make use of your grid, compose it, touch on the water. Maybe you can underexpose it a little and it will look very nice in black and white. Now, this is a foreground, background kind of a... 
and incidentally some people are now they crossed and i this is an accidental shot so those people who crossed i got them as reflections that was a bonus shot now this one is like a diagonal composition and i am exposing for the sun so you know everything else will be a little underexposed the reflections will be nice there'll be a lot of details on the rocks let me also grab an exposure which motorola gives me Well, I enjoyed shooting with the uh, new Motorola G64 5G. Well, you know, I mean, if you follow some simple rules, you can get very interesting images. All you have to do is to be aware of where you are. Look for a good shot, not just pull out the phone from your pocket and start shooting randomly. You saw the way we were working. If I can do it, everyone can. So before we sign off, did you know MediaTek is world's fifth largest global fabless semiconductor company? And the MediaTek Diamond City 7025 comes with a great bunch of features that makes your phone performance better. Exceptional power efficient chipset, light on power, extending battery life for everyone. Impressive 120 Hertz HDR10 Plus displays, a hardware engine that enhances streaming video in real time. 200 MP images, camera sensors capable of snapping images with amazing detail. True dual 5G, access to consistent 5G speeds for best quality voice and video call experiences. Upgraded octa-core CPU, accelerates apps and games faster for an amazing speed experience. MediaTek powers the excellence in your devices that makes you capture those wonderful shots. Until next time, keep clicking and do tag how to mobile photo in your pictures.